lots of people know uh, the Hollywood version of artificial intelligence. We've all seen the movies, The Terminator, uh, Ex Machina more recently. So we've all got this sense of what robotics and artificial intelligence is like. And the reality is kind of somewhat different from that. And that's what we talk about in our book, What to Do When Machines Do Everything, is how uh, big business and white collar work can take advantage of this next wave of technology and people in the legal world or the HR world, how they should be thinking about leveraging what is, after all, at its most simple and fundamental, uh, really just the next level of productivity tool. And so we're all accustomed to using productivity tools in every aspect of our jobs now. This is just the next generation of that. And so it's important for people, whether they're lawyers or HR people or compliance or salespeople, to be paying attention at the moment because the technology is very powerful, it's changing very quickly, and it's going to change your business and change what you do in the next few years. So we say to people, you've got to be curious about this. You've got to be really involved and engaged in this. This is not a good time to be sort of checking out and thinking, well, this is still Hollywood and science fiction. It's not. Uh, anybody who's using Alexa or Siri uh, and, you know, to talk to some, uh, the, the computer, the, the uh, order things from the supermarket or uh, play Spotify on a, on a music player, they, they're using this technology now, but it's, it's going to become increasingly evident that you can use it in different aspects of business. So uh, we sometimes talk about the fact that we think really the formula for the future of work is X plus AI. X representing whatever it is you do, whether you're a lawyer, whether you're a teacher, whether you're a doctor, is that's the X, inject AI into that, add AI into that, X plus AI. And that's how you get to the next uh, you know, performance threshold, the next level of productivity in whatever it is you do. But we also talk about the fact that it's not you know, technology for technology's sake, that really ultimately we're all interested in. It's, it's changing work for the better, making better work. And again, we think that AI and, and this next wave of technology is gonna allow people to do that. I mean, most simply, it's gonna take, if you use it properly and, and smart, in a smart way, cleverly, it's gonna take the boring bits of your job away and give you more time to do the bits of your, your job that you enjoy doing. I mean, nobody likes filling out forms and doing expense claims and filling out mortgage applications. That's a lot of work, which we don't particularly love. So let the machines do that. Let the software do those elements, perhaps through a conversational interface where you tell the machine what to do, or perhaps through machine learning technology that can just understand what needs to be done and do it for you. And that frees you up the time, the, the bandwidth, the kind of headspace to be able to do the next generation of things that are hopefully more fun for you.